working together at C is getting rooted. I mean, we've been around 25 years, right? And the work is still getting rooted. We've not even seen the best to come yet. Together at C is still planting seeds and growing seeds in all 46 counties. And so what's happening is a foundation has been formed, has been established, and I'm looking forward to what gets built on that going forward. So the, the one word or phrase that comes to my mind when I think about the impact that Together SC has had over the last 25 years uh, is collaboration. I mean, it's a word that we have used over and over and over and over again to describe ourselves, uh, to describe our work, uh, because that's what we are about. I mean, we're not a single entity. We are a, we're an association of nonprofit organizations and their allies who are working together and collaborating to achieve uh, social good. One of the questions that constantly came up is who are you representing? And, and we wanted to make sure that uh, Together SC represented all aspects of nonprofit work. We all had a, uh, an investment in uh, the work of Together SC, so we really saw the benefit of working across sector across those subsector lines to make ourselves and our organization stronger. I can say unequivocally that Together South Carolina has helped Habitat Greenville, helping us to see how we can be intentional about matters of uh, equity inclusivity. And they've shown us ways that we can uh, act uh, in ways that will bring people together that can create the right conversation so that we're a more equitable organization and that we can help create a more equitable community. Together SC is that one um, vehicle that um, leaders of color, I think, have looked to to help us elevate our voices. Um, it has offered us training opportunities it has offered us a chance to connect, um, a chance to exhale together, a chance to dream together, and more importantly, a chance to learn together. And I think the opportunity that Together SC has is to bring more nonprofit leaders of color across the state together. As the head of an advocacy organization, been incredibly pleased to see how that work has evolved, um, not only for REN, but for Together SC over the last um, four years. I think we've become much bolder, much clearer in the, the kind of change that we're trying to um, make happen here in South Carolina, and just more willing to go on that journey together, to learn from each other, and um, to, to set a, a bold vision for what South Carolina can be. I've been a part of the philanthropic space for about five years now, and from the very beginning, Together SC has been a part of my journey of learning how to build better relationships with nonprofit partners, seeing them as experts in this space, so they provide a lot of bridge building for myself um, to those organizations outside of the ones that we fund here at the Sisters of Charity Foundation. Um, we have had so many incredible conversations over the past just four years um, about what this history of the state has meant to the design of nonprofits, what nonprofits are here to do, um, and that takes um, a certain amount of courage and empathy building to kind of uncover that some of the reasons that nonprofit exist, nonprofits even exist are not great. Um, you know, we are here to fill in the gaps and to really um, address the inequities in our state. And I think that if we're going to do this together and do this together well, it's got to be about building empathy together. Uh, I think uh, Together SC's ability to convene the leaders of the non-profit profit community uh, here in South Carolina is something that uh, we've benefited from and continue to benefit from. It means that when we face an issue or we have a problem, we have a forum to which we can go and we can access in terms of getting advice, ideas and support in ways and means in which we can address um, these particular issues. We're not left by ourselves, we feel supported and connected um, and especially today when we're facing so many challenging problems and issues. Over the past 25 years, 
um, together as he has had an impact on the nonprofit sector by being innovative and creative, doing things different, um, finding a way to pivot and change. And, you know, when they saw that um, we needed assistance with COVID response, they were quick to respond and share all the resources with us. Um, when um, we had different things happen in the community and across the world and across the country. They took a stance and stuck with it and really supported all the other nonprofits. At the end of the day, Together SC in the last 25 years have been a, ahead of the curve and has taught a lot of the smaller nonprofits how to utilize the resources they have and be the best they can be. Uh, whenever I look back and think about the fact that our state has never designated federal dollars or state dollars uh, to the nonprofit sector, and that is what happened uh, during COVID. And the difference that that has made, uh, it has just been amazing to think about how far we have come uh, when we've chosen to come together and to work together. Mm -hmm.